In this video, I want to share an approach that I use to fill a sketchbook. I call it my sketchbook of lost and lonely fragments. So I'm just gonna show you a partially completed sketchbook and talk you through this approach uh, in case it's of any interest to you. So here we are inside my sketchbook of lost and lonely fragments. And basically what I do is I gather the sorts of bits and pieces that um, accumulate on my desk, random off cuts, um, experiments, even when I'm cleaning my paintbrush, you know, there's little kind of fragments of things, or I even cut up a painting that hasn't been successful. So I have all this sort of starting point of material that has some of my marks on it and I stick them fairly randomly into my sketchbook. So I might start with a page like this and what I find is that it gives me a springboard. So I mean I might fill up my whole sketchbook just with these sorts of little random off cuts and then what I'll do is I'll open a page at random and I will add to it or respond to it or try and resolve it in some way. So this is just a page where I've stuck in pieces. I've obviously cut out a triangle or something there. And so it's just those little remnants and oddments and fragments that I find are the byproducts of creating art. And I stick them into this sketchbook. And then what I do is I come back at a different time and I try and, you know, I use what's on the page as my springboard. So for example, here is a page that I have added to. So these are the sort of original fragments here. And I've just added in some drawn detail. And it gives me a slightly off key, but probably quite interesting composition. And I quite like that sort of slight weirdness about, <laughs> you know, these are the original pieces. Here was an, a little piece of, um, uh, I think I was probably drawing these triangles with a stick and some ink, and now I've added pen. So I've kind of added to what was on the page. And I'm doing this not to create the perfect page, but to explore shapes, explore colours, um, explore compositions. And I'm not aiming for perfectly finished, but there might be a passage. There might be something that I then see that sparks something else. Um, and I quite like this sort of organic, happy accident way of working. Um, I was listening to a podcast yesterday where Brené Brown was talking to Oprah Winfrey and she was talking about how perfectionism is really the enemy of creativity and innovation. And I, and I believe that to be true in my own work. So what um, I find useful about this sort of technique is that it stops me being <laughs> sort of perfectionist. It stops me seeking beautiful pages because there's already something, you know, um, what's the word? Something on the page for me to respond to. So it sort of helps me just be in the flow of creating, responding, um, thinking. Um, and I don't fill up this sketchbook in a sort of linear fashion. I sort of open it in a pick and mix sort of way and think, oh, well, <laughs> I like this page. I'll respond to that. And I think that's also quite freeing for me. It's sort of a playful way to, um, to work in a sketchbook. And I find it really rewarding. And actually, I find I discover a lot about my own art making through this sort of um, approach. So here, that is my lost and lonely, my sketchbook of lost and lonely fragments. And, uh, you know, there might just be a passage. There might be something on the page um, that I really enjoy. And, 
you know, this might be a bit of a hot mess, but there's something here that I really like. It could be the colour combinations or the shapes, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for those kind of hints and those clues and those, those little sort of areas that make me go, ooh, I like that. So there we go. <laughs> this is what happens to all those random experiments, mark-making experiments things I can't bring myself to throw out. 